Patient participation means that we, all of us who are patients, that means you and me, can find out more about the way health services are planned and provided. Every GP practice should have a patient participation group. They are called a PPG for short. The main thing that we do here is jointly with the other surgery in Rye and sometimes with the surgery in Northiam, uh, we, we uh, get speakers, often consultants, but sometimes doctors, sometimes practice nurses, who with people from voluntary organisations come and speak to the uh, patients from all three surgeries. It allows me to see how the surgery works and also put ideas forward to hopefully improve the service. It allows you to contribute to your GP's healthcare service. It gives you a feeling of satisfaction that you can actually contribute to, to the NHS. It's good to know what your healthcare service provider does and it's good for your CV, like it looks good for career opportunities and volunteering is a rewarding thing to do because it gives me a chance to help change our local health services for the better. It's a really good way to get involved with your community. No, it doesn't. As a busy mum of three, they've always let me come along and bring my children. That depends on you. I mean, if you want to make a lot of work, you can do. Because we don't make appointments, because we don't actually use the services that we provide, we don't have that level of knowledge that someone else will have. We like to think we have a perfect system, but we know from our patient participation groups members that that isn't always the case. Not a chance. <laughs> there are no perks to it. No chance. We all work to the same system. No. Although we're very committed to supporting our PPG, we simply can't provide quicker appointments for our PPG patients. It provides us with a real opportunity to actually get the views of our patients and to understand not just what, what they believe that they need clinically, but what they are actually looking for out of our service. They're supported by our GPs and particularly by our practice manager and that means we have a good working relationship. You can walk into your practice and ask one of the, our receptionists about the patient participation group. You can email the practice. There are some practices that are starting to offer Facebook groups uh, that have virtual patient participation groups.